Hi friends, in this video we are going to see a differentiation in the z-domain property of z-transform. It says signal x of n whose z-transform is x of z. With ROCR getting multiplied with N, then Z transform will be minus Z d by dz of X of Z with ROCR. Let's take an example. Let's have x of n once again a simple function u of n whose z transform will be 1 upon 1 minus z inverse nothing but z upon z minus 1 with ROC for z greater than 1. Now to this signal, if I multiply with n, I will get nx of n. So let's consider this as 1. So multiply 1 by n will get nx of n nothing but n u of n. And how we can relate with this? So nx of n is nothing but minus z dx by dz. So, Z transform of this minus Z first derivative of X of Z and in our case X of Z is Z upon Z minus 1. So, we get minus z here u by v rule we have to use so for z minus 1 first derivative of z minus z the first derivative of z minus 1 4 divided by z minus 1 the whole square so it is equal to minus z z minus 1 into 1 minus z into 1 z minus 1 square. So simplify minus z, z minus 1 minus z upon z minus 1 square. So this z is getting cancelled in the end, we will get z upon z minus 1 square. So z transform of n to of n we get at z upon z minus 1 square. This is very important because sometimes while calculating the inverse z transform, we come across a simple pole but repeated twice. At that time, it should strike us that signal must be multiplied with n or maybe higher order of n. Thank you.